My name is Va Hua, Anthony Vu. I'm a visual artist from Brisbane, Australia. So I was contacted by Christine, the director of DM. From then on, we kind of worked together to try and create a proposal for the Knight Foundation, and everything kind of just fell in place since then. One of the main things that I've drawn upon for these works is uh, the, the idea of the Pioneer Etiquette as the heart of St. Paul. The museum's here, but my residency is also in this building. And from this building, I've uh, explored. So in a sense, it's kind of these veins from this central location. So the original plan really was just for me to come in to do three murals individually. I didn't feel comfortable enough to come in, just fly in, make art, and then fly out. Opening up space is something that I feel really strongly about, so to have workshops was um, something I initiated and wanted to develop to be able to engage more with the community here and also to meet other Hmong American artists and to allow a bit of voice from the artists here as to what these murals are. Uh, is, um, it just makes them much more significant to the place and more enriching to the people who live here. We were tasked really to just come up with a different interpretation of something that's representative of the Hmong community. I went with poppy flowers because the Hmong farmers in Laos were the biggest producers of the cash crop, opium. I designed the jackalope. It represents the tension that resulted from the Chai Bang shooting in 2004. I'm really close to it because my father hunts and I used to go with him as a kid all the time. Where I was coming from was specifically with the idea of herbs and the idea of women's knowledge of healing. So mine is my particular style of a drawing of a girl and her hair is the roots of the herbs. I chose the wood frog because of its ability to adapt. When I reflect on my community, I'm very amazed by how we have migrated for hundreds of years and wherever we go, the new culture that we adapt to, we're able to retain our identity of who we are. Feng Hua has asked us to think about people in our lives who impacted us, but also in the community. For me, it was a journey, and it came down to a child named Tai Vu. He's 10 years old. He's also autistic and ADHD, and so I feel that with permission of his parents, that he really represent the community. The piece that I did is of my grandmother. She is the nucleus of why I chose the field in art and design. I chose my significant other, Song Vu. She plays a big role in my success. She helps me to stay focused on what I'm doing. She definitely makes sure that I'm honest to myself and the, and the work that I'm doing. I am doing a portrait of my sister, Kampian. We have nine kids in our family, and she's the only one who's taken on the Hmong textiles. There aren't enough people who are trying to carry on that tradition, and so she is, so I wanted to represent her. Um, I actually chose my brother, Fong Lor. He's large in life to me. He's the oldest, so he taught himself how to speak English. He's a self-made entrepreneur, in addition to running a business and also taking care of his family and my mom and dad as well. Um, and I really want to just honor him. I chose my mother because I, I did go to Hmong Village quite a lot on my first visit. And I mean, every time I see storeholders, a lot of the times they're Hmong mothers. So to me, I mean, it was my mother, but I also felt that perhaps it could reflect those in the community who do work very hard, who sacrifice a lot for others around them, and they don't usually get recognition they deserve. We are really excited to be able to unveil this fabulous mural that we have here on the side of the Jackson Street ramp here, right in downtown St. Paul. You know, you take on a project like this with somebody whose art you've seen on a website, and you've read an article about them, you don't know anything about them, you've never really seen the art in person, but you just have a sensibility. There's some sixth sense that says, this artist is going to be really great to work with, and this art is going to be transformative to our community. And that has not only happened here, it happened in spades. It happened so much more than we ever thought it was going to happen with this project. What you've done for this community is really outstanding. And I think everybody around you can say that Anthony's been transformative to what we do here in St. Paul. So I just want to thank you for your generosity and for your artistry and for your kindness. And I hope that you come back again soon to experience what we have here in St. Paul. So thank you, Anthony.